You know, creating sanctuaries in our homes has never been more important. Uh, and as the seasons change, it is a great time to change up your decor just to suit your frame of mind. Like, how are you feeling? So Shai DeLuca is here to show us how to style our kitchens to match our moods. It's so good to see you. And, like, this set is so touchable. It looks beautiful. Yeah. I mean, do, do you feel moody with it? I feel a little moody. <laughs> I feel a little moody with it. And I like the idea of styling your spaces to suit your mood, um, especially the kitchen. I mean, right. this is where we are all the time. It doesn't matter where the party is in your house. They're going to be in your kitchen. You it's got just it. the way it goes. The kitchen is the heart of the home, and it you're is. right. It doesn't matter where you are. People tend to congregate in the kitchen. It's where the food is. It's where prep is being done. It's, it's yes. really the heart of the home. So here's the thing. We've become so accustomed to the fact that our appliances are stainless steel, black, or white. You know, that's, that's what we have. That's the yeah. market, and, and we're okay with it. Well, enter Samsung, who is like, why? Why can't we have <laughs> other colors? And this is really exciting. So they've introduced the uh, bespoke uh, flex four-door panel fridge. Ooh. And what's really cool about this trace is that, of course, it has everything that you would expect a Samsung fridge to have, the beverage centers, you know, the water, the ice, all of that. Yeah. But what is so exciting for us designers is the fact that the panels can be changed on your own based on your color concept in your space or, like you say, your mood. Talk about personalizing your space. Right. Like, you pick the way you want your fridge to look. That's right. And you can mix and match it if you are bold like yeah, that. Yes, I'm not there yet. But I think <laughs> You'll the, get there. the You'll gray get there. is really beautiful. <laughs> You'll get there. So you're going to show us different styles yeah. uh, that you can use in this space. And your first one is going to be bohemian. And I'm feeling the vibe. You feel, right? Right, like, right away it. you can feel it. So this is something that I want to pair with the rose pink glass panels. And, you know, bohemian can go very wrong very fast <laughs> because it has a little bit of an eclectic feel to it, right? Yeah. But what's really nice about Bohemian is that it has that mood of, it reminds us of travel. You know, yes. it, it's, it's maybe our grandparents. We've collected things from mm. family members. We've gone to uh, estate sales, maybe a flea market. Yeah. I love this look because it's so personal and it's so different for each person. But the tip is you have to have a common denominator. Yeah. So when I say the common denominator, what is kind of, you know, uh, pairing or, or tying all the things that we see here together? What do you feel unites everything here? I think it's the pink. It's the like, pink. Like, it all has the sort of warm, rosy glow over the you whole nine. It. And I mean, this, Look at oh that backsplash. Oh, my gosh. Yummy. That it's is yummy. delicious. Delicious. Beautiful. I mean, yes, Kyle's are delicious people. Yeah. I eat delicious. <laughs> They're scrumptious. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> so this is really, you know, this is really great. And I love this with the uh, the rose pink door uh, panels that they have. That would be beautiful. Very, yeah. Really soft. Okay, the next look seems uh, a little bit more of a classic. Am I right? Classic, but it's classic. Classic with a twist. Okay. You know me, I don't like to be too mundane, too whatever. Yeah. But, uh, you know, classic with a twist. So if you're one of those people like me who wants to keep up with the trends all the time, yeah. it can be very expensive to having to keep changing yes. it out, right? However, classic with a twist. So let's go with the more neutral blacks, whites, and gray palette. But we can do it in an interesting and, you know, almost more energetic way, if you will. Okay. So let's start off with, if we look at the cabinets that we have in our own kitchen here, they are leathered panel doors. Oh, sexy. Now, it's the texture, right? Mm -hmm. So you have that classic look. However, there's the texture. And then, of course, we're pairing it with the gray glass panels that we have on the fridge here. It looks amazing. It's so custom looking. Yeah. And then look at some of the other pieces, Trace. Even look at these beautiful pieces. Like, they look like the Royal Dalton plates. Mm -hmm. But there's a little bit of a modern twist to them because they have that black detail in them, the earthenware, you know, the yeah. different textures that we have here. And in our own kitchen, the lighter backsplash, which gives it a really nice contrast and a really nice kind of counterbalance, yeah. keeps that modern, uh, you know, that classic with a twist feel in, uh, in, in throughout the space. There's something edgy about it. Right. And then when you pair it, like you say, with these textures, these kind of like leather textures, or you have the beautiful uh, stone behind, and the way in which we've done kind of the, the styling here on the shelf as well. So you have different textures, you have different materials, you have different looks. It's all classic. Each in and of itself is classic. We put it all together, and it's that classic with a twist. Absolutely. Okay, the next one, or the last one, very moody. Yes. I like it. So you're calling yeah. it dark nostalgia. Dark nostalgia. So here's the thing about dark nostalgia. Dark nostalgia is kind of this idea that thinking back to a time when perhaps, you know, we didn't really, uh, we, we didn't have much, but we were warm and we were enveloped. And it was yeah. kind of like, I like to think of like an old study 
or an old library. Okay. So darker finishes, leathers, mm -hmm. you know, kind of that that idea. What's really great about the dark nostalgia is is when I say dark nostalgia, right away people think black, black, gray, gray, very similar to what we just spoke about. Yeah. But it's not because it has those kind of edgy kind of uh, um, other details in the leather. Now, what's great about this is everything here is dark nostalgia. So we see we even have like navy uh, backsplash tiles, Beautiful. a lot of different textures, a lot of different patterns. But what's great about the fridge as well is, for example, I can do the matte steel black and the navy steel. I can do two Ooh. different tones on the same fridge, which is very exciting, right? Yeah. And then let's say, I don't know, two years down the road, I want to redo my kitchen. I don't need to buy a new fridge again because I can just change the panels based on the color that I've chosen. That's excellent. It, right? I mean, it's a money saver, guys. And I think it's so great to be able to do that. So really, this is a way in which to incorporate that feel keeping your appliances up to kind of the standard that you need them to be and yeah. on trend with where you're going. I'm loving seeing all of the touches of leather, though. You mentioned on the, yeah. the cabinetry for sure, but even on the bowl there, yes. on the wine on the wine holder. I know you noticed that right away. I know you noticed that right away. Yeah, this is so chic. It, I mean, right, you can walk nice. down the street with that. I mean, I would totally walk around the street <laughs> with that. But yeah, you're right. Like the leather, the way in which we do leather now, right? So yeah. the leather trays, the details that we have in the chairs, just beautiful. Very nice. Uh, everything customizable to your mood, yes. including the fridge. Yes. Very nice, Shy. I love how easy it is to get sort of really personalized when it comes to our design and our decor.